About two to three weeks ago, this happened. I was very close to sending my first V6-7, so I got a little bit too excited and attempted to climb more times than I usually would. At the moment, I felt okay, but when I left the gym, my body started to cool down and I started to feel pain on my lower back. Then, I wasn't able to stand up straight. I knew right away it was because of the repeated falls on the stiff bouldering mats. I used to jump down from the climb when there used to be softer mats in my gym. I remember on the first day when they changed the mats into the current stiffer ones, I felt the same kind of lower back pain, though lighter, due to the same pattern of jumping down to finish the climb. From that day on, I have down climb all the way to avoid any jumping on the stiff mats. However, that doesn't really solve the problem because there are going to be climbs where the crux is at the top like this one, so inevitably I will need to be able to fall on that light. Additionally, I've seen a lot of people jumping down from the wall all the time onto the stiff mats, and it doesn't seem to cause any problems for them. So I decided to reach out to people in my network to consult them. And these people include doctors, fitness coaches, and yoga instructors. And here is what I learned that works for me. The best medical treatment for this kind of lower back pain is conservative management, which is short for avoiding bed rest and keeping active, but avoiding strenuous activities. Here are the exercises I did to keep active. There are two yoga moves I learned to stretch the lower back very nicely. The first one is child's pose, and the second one is happy baby pose. You probably won't feel anything if your back is okay, but you will feel a huge relief from these poses when your back is in pain. I also learned that the lower back absorbs all the impact from the fall because other parts of the muscles that are supposed to be used are weak, especially the glutes. Here are two glute workouts I learned that can really work the glute muscles. And most importantly, they are doable when you have lower back pain. The first one is the glute bridge, which works the back of the glute muscles. And the second one is the side leg raises, which works the side of the glute muscles. At the same time, I also climb lightly on the V0s and V1s to work out my entire body. Another thing I will constantly try is to stand straight. Doing so with lower back pain, you will have to squeeze the glute muscles and the upper back really hard, which means they will get very tight and sore. Therefore, you can use a foam roller to massage these muscles with these two kinds of moves. The back release and the gluteus release. Caution, don't foam roll the lower back, otherwise the pain will get worse. My lower back completely recovered after doing all these for 5 days, which honestly is a lot faster than I imagined. I thought it would take at least 10 days or so. I went back immediately to work on the same V6-7 because my gym was going to take it down soon. Usually I would be conservative but there was time pressure. In the end I didn't make it, which is pretty sad. But the good thing is that I failed multiple times but my lower back felt totally fine. From now on, I'm going to incorporate the glute training exercises into my training routine. And I highly recommend you guys to do it too. Thanks for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.